Howdy y'all. For anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Jace. I'm a sex addict. Going to switch it up a little bit this week. Normally I come on and answer questions that I've got in about my addiction or recovery or my life now. Uh, but instead, I am going to, to ask you guys for questions. Uh, you know, we're, we're out there making the film Suddenly Celibate, and we are talking to experts in the field of addiction and sexuality and relationships as well to find out what is healthy sexuality, what does a healthy relationship look like. I have a bunch of questions of my own um, for these fields, uh, like um, what average age are kids looking at porn at these days? With the onset of the internet, is that younger? And is that damaging? Is that just kids being kids? Or are they awakening something within themselves too early that's problematic? Uh, you know, what, what if your partner likes to role play? Does that mean that they don't desire you as a person? You know, uh, is that wrong? Is that bad? Uh, you know, all people who participate in BDSM, are they all deranged in some way, have some mental instability? Uh, you know, are all sex offenders addicts of some kind? Are they all, you know, trauma survivors themselves? Where does that come from? You know, is, is monogamy hardwired into humans? You know, so many species are not monogamous. Is there something special about our DNA or the human connection that, uh, you know, turns us towards monogamy? Or is that just a huge fallacy in general? You know, why do so many men in Generation Y have erectile dysfunction issues? Uh, you know, it's, I, I read somewhere that it's bigger in our generation than it ever has been before. Why is that? Not that it's super relevant to me currently, but imagine one day it will be and I will want to know that information. Uh, you know, can you love one more, more than one person at, at one time? Is that possible or are you just fooling yourself? You know, or can you love one person and de desire another person? Is there something in the human brain that that you know lets that happen there's so many things that go into being a human in general is hard but being a healthy human and how does your sexuality play into that how do you bring another person into that in a healthy way and how does that differ for everyone is there one formula are there lots of formulas are we all just out here like a hot mess making it work mm -hmm. I don't know but uh, I'm gonna find out and I am more than happy to bring your questions along with mine if, you, if you've ever been really eager to know something, maybe you've been too shy or you just haven't had access to the right professionals, you don't want to pay the money or you, know, you only have one question, whatever it is, send them in and I'll ask as many as I can. You can do that through my website, suddenlycelibate.com. There's a contact page on there. Um, I, the questions come right to me. I will answer them. Uh, the, I'll, you know, I answer the emails. I won't answer the questions because I don't have any idea what I'm doing uh, as far as healthy sexuality and relationships go. But... I will do my best to seek out that information and bring it back to you. So send that stuff in on the website. In the meantime, you can find me on YouTube, Suddenly Celibate. I am on Facebook, and of course, you can follow me on Twitter. I'll catch you guys next week.